So I'm really excited to be working with Christy uh, here at Cannes on two different projects. The first one's called Light Mural, and we're using uh, some very high, powerful projectors uh, to shoot up an image onto the wall while people are, are eating, and it's this 10 foot by 4 foot light mural that we're projecting, and it has these great and kind of entertaining animations that happen. But we're also bringing in connects to be monitoring that stage, so that as people come up and they start tapping certain parts of, of the animation, it folds out into more of a story. So maybe there's the yacht and the couple on the yacht and that looks pleasant, but you touch the couple and talk bubbles start coming up and they start saying, you know, different things that celebrating creativity here. Uh, the other project is called uh, Light Marketing and this one's really exciting. We have some projectors and we've calibrated them with the Connect. So as people walk into the beach club, the Connect can track up to six bodies and since it's calibrated, can tell the projector, shoot this image onto this person's chest. So we're able to turn people almost like into living billboards and a lot of times they don't even know it. They're walking in and all of a sudden they'll have a message on their back, right? Or they'll turn around and they'll see marketing. We can make that interactive as well so that you do gestures and then what happens to you specifically can change that way. That's the one that's uh, getting a lot of attention here and it's all done and made possible by having the connect calibrated to a projector and we're giving away that code as well so I'm hoping to see a lot more stuff at a very professional level as well as having a lot of the hackers and creative coders that are here take it start experimenting and rethinking how they use projectors and projection mapping with real people so those are the two projects we're working on we've had Christy as a great partner who's been supplying the projectors and the know-how got to fly out to Toronto meet a lot of the team there and we just shared we were all passionate about where projections going you know where people are going where interactivity is going and it, it's been a great experience this relationship started when Microsoft ran a competition called the hackathon where they invited programmers to create whatever experience they could using their connect version 2 sensor Christy participated in that contest where we created an experience we call augmented reality cosplay. We projected superhero logos onto people's uh, bodies. And Microsoft saw what we created and they liked it and they invited us to participate in this experience where they're continuing to project onto people and have these interactive projector and connect experiences. So we're sharing information and sharing technology. This is fine and we've done this before but when they said where they wanted to do it, which is on the beach at Cannes, Christy needed to provide high brightness projectors that could compete against the high ambient light here. And we also needed to provide a special short throw lens that could save space in the room and still put a calibrated image onto that mural. And we also have a lot of heat to deal with. And these projectors were asked to be enclosed away inside boxes. So we needed to provide projectors that could compete uh, in this environment and still continue to operate. This is a great time to be involved where I think the industry is shifting because projection technologies have really defined technology for the past several decades, but a lot of new players are coming in that I wouldn't call projection technologies as much as perception technology. So things like virtual reality, augmented reality, the Microsoft HoloLens, which is just amazing, right? We call this mixed reality. And as that starts getting more and more prominent, as we fundamentally change the way people interact with technology and interact with their spaces, I don't see these as competitive. A lot of people kind of want to say, well, projections getting shifted over just to VR or AR. And, and I don't think that's true. I think together we can start having these mashups that allow the seamless transition of states. So projection-based technologies like the light mural itself, right? We're having projectors that are shooting a shared experience by people. We're bringing in connects, making, making projection, mapping, and making it interactive. That's all great. So I think these can transition smoothly if we're really smart about it. If we get great creatives, great technologists, and great visionaries, right? We have these companies come together. We can start creating these experiences that projection-based technologies and perception-based technologies, they're not competitive, but they actually come together and create this mixed reality. We're calling this more personal computing at Microsoft. It's one of, uh, it's why I'm at the company. It's what I'm passionate about. And I love that we can partner with Christy and their forward thinking and the work they're doing with projection mapping and partner with other companies in AR and VR and holograms. And really, let's, let's just see where this is going. I mean, how, how quickly can we bring the future here? And it's just a great time to be in this industry.